So now it's time for one of our guests to put a question forward. As ever, I don't know the question. I certainly don't know the answer. I'm just playing along too. Eric, what have you got for us? I got a question about seeds for you. You ready? All right. As well as its olives and wine grapes, the residents of ancient Greece also valued another plant, the carob. It is said that its seeds had an unusual property that led to a useful quantity that we use today. What is it? One more time. As well as its olives and wine grapes, the residents of ancient Greece also valued another plant, the carob. It is said that its seeds had an unusual property that led to a useful quantity that we use today. What is it? I mean, I immediately looked at Brady on this question because I just assume this is going to have come up in a number file video sometime. There's some some <laughs> ancient like it, Greek it? quantity <laughs> causing plant. Sounds like exactly the sort of thing you'd have covered at some point. I, I You would think so, but it's not immediately jumping into mind. But yeah, you think it's going to be some measurement, isn't it? Some kind of, you know, one of these, you know, there are 38 carob seeds, weighs the same as this, and or, or some saying that we use today maps back onto it. I was thinking like barley corns or something like that, but that's a different plant and a different measuring system. We don't use it today. So it's a terrible answer, but it's something. What do carob seeds even look like? I Honestly, no idea. I di Honestly, I'm not even sure what a carob is. Well, a hint that may help is that it's thought that the seeds were similar in size. I can't tell you what they look like because I have not looked this up, but they are similar in size. So it's got to be something it's that's used. Similar in size to yeah. each other or similar in size to something else? To each other. So they could be used as a standard unit. You know, you could trust, so, okay. you could trust them to always be what the same. What do you... I, I, I'm thinking out, out the box in, just in terms of... Uh, this is completely wrong. Um one seed equating to millions of other seeds, like a sunflower or something like that, where it's, uh, I don't know, would that then yeah. Yeah. You've, be a quantity? You've got to have 1,000 one of these equals... I don't know, because... Oh, so all the... Oh, 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 Brady, that's a look on your face. Oh, I think, oh, 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 oh. Brady's got something. <laughs> I, I think oh, I might go have for it. it. Go for it. No. You, no, you go, you can't be that enthusiastic and I'm, not. <laughs> I'm not sh I'm not sure enough, right, that I'm right that I think I can put it out there. There's a good enough chance that I'm wrong. But I think there's a really good chance this is where the notion of carrots come from. 24 carrots using carrots as a measurement because it sounds like carob and carrots are a very small unit, aren't they? Of of weight. About the weight of a seed. Yeah. Is this the point where you put in a little ding, 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 ding sound hey. effect? Because you have got it exactly <laughs> oh, right. Well oh, well done. It was wow. thought of, oh. Carob seeds were consistent in weight, or so they thought, and thus provided a good measurement for traveling traders in the Mediterranean. And the word carob became carrot over time. The weight of 0.2 grams to one carat was standardized in 1907. Okay. That is amazing. That's So is that for gold or for diamonds or for both? I guess. Isn't that for, for both? I'm not entirely sure. I've only just realised that you have... Like, diamonds are measured in carrots, right? I'm not making that up. And you have right. 24 carat... Yeah, a typical carob seed weighs roughly the same as a one carat diamond. And so you have 24 mm. carat gold as well. And I've only just realised that... That's to do with purity, though, isn't it? With gold. It's not to do with the mass. It's to do with the purity of the gold when you have 24 carat gold. Not the, So yeah, is that a different is. measurement? Or is that... A weight of... Or perhaps it just started with diamonds and because it's also jewellery, they said, like, well, people know this. It's probably the blend because it's probably the blend. I think maybe 24 karat gold is just pure gold. And then if you blend the gold with something else to make it, like, 18 karat, it means it's got some silver in there or something else. I don't know. Yes. Um, I, I have been told that uh, the diamond and gold carats are basically two different measures with the same name. So uh, that's... Ah. Oh, how, how perfect. <laughs> So yeah, so the uh, carob plant had uh, seeds that were the source of what we now call a carrot for measuring diamonds and indirectly gold as well. well congratulations, Brady, on that sudden flash of insight. That's lovely. Let's. Uh... I know. I, I didn't. I didn't keep calm, did I? When I realised, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had these convulsions of excitement. 